In AutoCAD, there are many ways that we can place constraints on geometry. The one that we most frequently use tends to be our snaps. For example, drawing an entity parallel to something else or drawing something perpendicular to something else. Another thing that we can use are parametrics. So I have a trapezoid drawn on the screen and if you look at it you can see that nothing is parallel and nothing is really at 90 degree angles. So I'm going to go up to parametrics and I will add in a perpendicular constraint. So I'm going to say that this line and this line are always going to be perpendicular. I'm also going to go back and say that this line and this line are also perpendicular. But you can see that one thing I've had happen is that I've lost the constraints that are here. So I'm going to add a coincident constraint saying that this endpoint and this endpoint are always together. I'm going to hit escape. I can also add another parallel constraint saying that this line and this line are always parallel. Hit escape. And I can now come back in, go to my home tab, and say to fill it with a radius of zero, this entity and this entity. Parametric constraints are most frequently used in the engineering aspects of CAD, not so much in the construction industry because of how we tend to operate, but it's very normal that if you're doing mechanical drawings that people will put parametric constraints in their drawings to make sure that particular conditions are always observed.